In this video, I'm going to show you how to export a 4K YouTube video in Adobe Premiere. Hi and welcome or welcome back to DIY Film with Merle Becker, the channel where I help you make better videos. As always, stick around to the end of the video for a bonus tip. Alright, so you finished editing your 4K video and now it's time to export it so you can upload it to YouTube or Vimeo. When you do your export, you want to make sure that you're choosing settings that will give you the highest quality video that will still play smoothly. So here is how you do this. Just FYI, I'm working in Premiere version 22.5.0, so if yours is older or newer, it might look slightly different. All right, so first you wanna make sure that your sequence has a proper name, if you haven't named it already. Click on the words next to the sequence icon and name your final sequence. I like to give mine the same name as I'm giving it on YouTube or Vimeo, so I don't have to rename it once it's uploaded. Next, you want to make sure that you don't have any audio tracks muted as you might have done while you were mixing. You won't be able to hear anything that's muted in your final export, so make sure that none of the M's or the S's here are highlighted. Then you want to set an in point at the beginning of your timeline and an out point at the end. To do this, hit the backslash key right below your delete key to see your whole timeline. Then grab the blue playhead here at the top and drag it to the beginning and hit I for in. Then drag it to the end and hit O for out. If you hold shift while you're dragging it, the playhead will snap to the beginning or the end of the clip. You'll now see your selection highlighted in gray. While your timeline is still selected, go to File, Export Media, and choose Send to Media Encoder or Q. There are several reasons to use Media Encoder to export your finals, the biggest being that you can continue to work in Premiere while Media Encoder does your export. You can even close Premiere while Media Encoder is doing its thing. It's pretty awesome. Once Media Encoder is open, we're going to be using the Vimeo 4K preset, which includes the settings that will give you the best looking optimized video for both YouTube and Vimeo. To do this, go to the Q tab and all the way on the left, select H.264 from the drop down menu. Then in the middle column, select the Vimeo 2160 4K Ultra HD option. There's also a YouTube 4K preset, but I prefer the Vimeo version even if you're uploading to YouTube. Once you've selected the Vimeo 2160p 4K Ultra HD option from the menu, pick a destination for your final file. You should be saving all of your finals to one folder. If you haven't created a finals folder on your drive or desktop, go there now and create one. As mentioned in my other videos, I like to call my folder zero finals so that if I sort alphabetically, it pops to the top. Stay organized, my friends. Back in Media Encoder, click the name under Output File and navigate to your Zero Finals folder. Once you've chosen your destination, hit Save. Then all you have to do is hit the green triangle in the upper right to start your render. You can see your progress here at the bottom. And if it's a long render, you can even hop back in Premiere and continue editing on the same sequence, no less. However, your render will only reflect what was done at the time it was sent to Media Encoder. And that's it. Let's do that tip. Looking to speed up your Adobe Media Encoder export time? Turn off your output preview so your processor has less to do. Yep, that'll speed it up. To do this in Media Encoder, go to the Media Encoder Preferences menu and uncheck the box by Preview While Encoding. Now you won't see that output preview as it exports, but you'll get it done that much faster. All right, as always, if you found any of this to be helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell so you know when the next one is posted, and I will catch you next time.